Thank you, Matt, for the introduction. Really appreciate it. So coming to you live from the SEMA show, booth number 11781 in the North Hall uh, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Actually, by the time you watch it, it's not actually live, uh, but you get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to cover here a few, a couple of, or a couple of features. Uh, new, it's new to Parts Logic, uh, plus a brand new component uh, that uh, we're going to introduce called the Fitment Verifier. So without further ado, love to get started. So again, we're going to cover um, a few things. We're going to cover how to use synonyms. I'm going to show you the Fitment uh, label in the search bar, which is a really cool little feature. And I'm going to talk about the Fitment Verifier that can be put on a product detail page. So first, synonyms. What are they? Well, um, synonyms come in two flavors. They come in either unidirectional or bidirectional. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, unidirectional, you see an example over here where the shopper searches for the word tablet, and the term iPad is also searched. However, the vice versa is not true. So in order to have the term iPad search for tablet, a separate synonym will have to be created for that association. This is really good. A use case would be like uh, Chevy, uh, is a synonym for Chevrolet, right? And then the other flavor that you get is bi-directional synonyms. This is really powerful, actually, because here, in this example, where you got sweater, sweatshirt, jumper, woolly, woolen, here, all the words, they're all treated as synonyms of one another. So in other words, when a shopper searches for one of these words, all the other synonyms of the same are searched as well. So that's what synonyms are. You got two flavors, unidirectional and bidirectional. Now, the next question is, how do you get to use them? Well, setting them up is really, really easy. So on the left-hand side here, you see an example uh, TXT file. So it's simple just to create a TXT file. Um, and then what you do is you enter in the list of synonyms. Now, when you do the unidirectional, uh, it's, uh, the delimiter there is an equal sign and greater than sign. And it kind of makes like a little arrow, right? Unidirectional one way to the right. And so you can see some unidirectional ones here on that example where I've got uh, bed cover is a unidirectional synonym for tunnel cover. Or there's that example again of uh, Chevy for Chevrolet. Or here's an example, a real example for a client where um, uh, people would uh, uh, type in tire warmers uh, with, a, with a Y. Um, and uh, they wanted that to be a synonym for tire warmers, uh, the correct spelling of two words. So those are examples of unidirectional. Bidirectional, just as easy. It's just a list uh, uh, with a comma-separated uh, delimiter. And uh, here in this example here, uh, ZX10R um, is a synonym for all the other permutations of that where the hyphen could be in different locations. And uh, so if you search one, you search them all. So all you have to do is create this TXT file, uh, save it, send it to uh, uh, myself directly, or you can send it to PartsLogic at WebShop Manager, or you can even send it to your CSM. Uh, and we'll make sure that it gets loaded. Typically can be loaded uh, same day. Now, a little note, we're working on the admin application for Parts Logic, And once that becomes available, you'll actually have a place to log into. And one of the first uh, controls that you'll have is the um, synonyms. So you'll be able to actually edit, uh, add, save, remove. You'll be able to do that all on your own without having it to have us uh, help you out with that. So that is what synonyms are. <clears throat> they come in two flavors, unidirectional and bidirectional. And it's really easy to set up just by creating a TXT file and sending it to us to, to upload into the system for you. The next little new feature that we came out here in the last month uh, is what I'm going to call the fitment label in the search bar. So in the example here up on the screen, you're going to see uh, the search bar there. And if you notice, the orange uh, label on the left-hand side actually has that user's selected fitment. Um, so what's really cool about this is that as a user um, filters their search results by vehicle fitment, they want, may want to do another keyword search, right? Maybe they're looking for bed covers, and then the uh, next thing they, uh, they want to look for is um, some fender flares or uh, some Nerf bars, right? And those have vehicle application. So when they go do a new search, that search bar is going to include the label up there. Uh, see that orange label on the top left of the search bar? Um, where it's going to tell that the user has a selected fitment. So that way the user knows that when you're doing a new search, that that information is actually filtered by that chosen fitment. And as you can see here in this illustration, um, that a user could also dismiss that fitment label. They click on the little X right there. And when they do so, it'll perform an unfiltered search and return search results uh, in there as well. So a nice little additional feature that really helps the user understand that if they have fitments selected and they do a new search, uh, that uh, the search results are going to be filtered already by that fitment, and they can choose to uh, X out that fitment uh, if they uh, want to. Really cool little feature. And the last thing I want to talk about is our new first component. Uh, so our you know our components that we put out there first were was uh, the search bar and the search results page. And now this actually is a new component 
um, that is what we're going to call the fitment verifier and that could be actually be uh, embedded on uh, your product detail pages and that's where a user can come to a product detail page and if they do not have fitment already selected um, they're going to have the ability to select fitment and verify that it fits or doesn't fit so it's really really cool uh, where a user can really uh, 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 confirm that it's going to fit their particular application. And if they get if it fits, they're going to get a, a green message with a check mark that says, hey, fitment is verified for the vehicle that they've chosen. And if it doesn't fit, they're going to have a big red uh, box that says it doesn't fit. So these are um, some exciting new things uh, for Parts Logic. Each and every month, we're going to be introducing new features, uh, new enhancements. Uh, and if you want to take advantage of uh, any of these uh, that I covered here today, uh, which is uh, synonyms, which is that fitment label up in uh, the search bar, and this fitment verifier. Simply just reach out to me directly, or you're able to uh, email partslogic at webshopmanager.com, or you can even talk to your CSM, and we'll get the ball rolling and getting uh, these particular features on your uh, website if you are a PartsLogic customer already. And if you're not a PartsLogic customer already, man, we would love to have you, so please contact your CSM, or you can even reach out to me directly, and uh, we'll get you uh, started uh, and set up with a PartsLogic search. So, Matt, that's all that I have for today. Everybody, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you.